I'm here in Kansas and we're about ready to have a thunderstorm roll through and the weather said this is like 20 mile an hour winds and so it's actually pretty windy. So I brought this X210 out here to show people how it flies on 4 cell and 3 cell in 20 mile an hour winds. So for today I'm going to be using some Bonka batteries. This is a 4 cell 1600 Bonka battery, you can see 4 cells. Then also have a 1600 3 cell battery. I, I got a couple other 3 cells but they're, they're they don't hold the charge very well. And this one is pretty much brand new. I bought it just for racing in the three cell races. So, like I said, we're gonna do a three cell first and then we'll do a four cell uh, demonstration just to show you a little bit of the difference and to let you know it's okay to fly in the wind even when it's 20 mile an hour. <laughs> All right, change the plan. My bulk of battery's a little bit dead. I got two of these uh, Turnigy batteries. They're 1500 milliamps. We'll try them, see how they go. 12.3 Good, 12.3 And this is the 3 cell Here goes some burnouts This is on 3 cell, remember? We'll try again, another burnout here. We're on three cell. Not too bad. It's not spectacular, but it's definitely fast. We'll try to do a little lower to the ground this time. Okay, I'll bring it back high so I can see it. Whoa. But this thing has no problems doing flips on 3-cell. And I'm just using all the standard rates that come on Beta Flight 3.0. Back flips, no problem. Front flips, no problem. Here we go. Do another little burnout again to show you. You can tell the motors don't wind up and wheel quite as much as they do when, they, uh, when they're running 4-cell. It's having no problem flying in this 20 mile an hour wind. I can definitely feel it always pushing to my right. Let's see, let's see how many flips we can do in a row here. <laughs> okay, that wasn't a whole bunch, but it was pretty low to the ground. Let's we'll try it again. Woo! That was quite a few. We'll try it one more time. Whoa! Almost hit the ground. Now on this one, I'm actually cutting the throttle off all the way. And that's because I have my min throttle set to a uh, speed where the motors can, are still in control of the quad and they don't ever actually stop all the way. A three cell is pretty fun. And if you're just learning to fly, man, there's nothing better than a three cell. Well, at least not on this quad. I don't have any two cells to try on or I'd, or I'd do that, maybe later. But again, this is all just three cell. All right, let's get this down. We'll put on a four cell and see how much different it is. Oh my gosh, the wind's really going now. There it goes, yeah. the ground all right here we go in the four cell this wind, <laughs> this wind is starting to pick up a little bit more than it was so we'll see four cell on the uh, x210 kit and uh, this has the 2600 kV motors so we'll see how it goes oh my gosh the four cell has a lot more power and the wind is really picked up okay We'll do a little burnout over here on the side. This D4 cell. Here it goes. And listen to the motors, because they should wind up a lot more. Man. I say come, boy, it comes. All right, here we go. 
We'll try it again, another burnout. Again, listen for the motors. Shoot! Mindy. And here, uh, in my last couple videos, I've been saying the motors have been getting pretty warm. Well, recently they haven't been, which is I'm kind of surprised, because when I fly line of sight, I push it a lot harder than I do when I fly uh, FPV, and it's not been, it's not even been caring about the heat. The ESCs never get hot, and the motors have just been getting, like, just barely even warm. There's a bird. Low battery. All right. That's probably... So this is the uh, X210 kit and the wind is really picking up and I know my wife is going to be wondering where I am and why the heck I'm outside flying. Well, like I said, this thing flies real well on 4S and it's extremely fast. 3S is still fun, it's not nearly as strong as 4S, but if you're kind of learning to fly, I still think this is a great quadcopter. I think if you got this, you would be competing uh, and you'd be able to compete in races against quads that cost a lot more and you're getting to come in at a substantially low price for a quad this good. Also, if, like I was saying, if you're just learning, three cell is definitely what I would suggest just because there's a lot less power to it and a lot less chance of you actually breaking something. But anyway, if, you, if you're interested in this, I got, a, I got a review on the frame itself, a build video on this that's pretty long and pretty boring, unless you're building it, then hopefully it's pretty good. And then I got another video about the adding the FPV gear and adding in telemetry. Anyway, check those out too. If you have any questions about this or if you're wondering about 3-cell or 4-cell, like I said, beginners, I'd say 3-cell. If you're hesitant, 3-cell. If you want to go crazy, get the 4-cell. And uh, if you have any other questions about it, leave them in the comments and I'll try to help you out as best I can. And as always, thanks for watching. There's no place like home! There's no place like home! Why isn't this working? <laughs> That's so dumb!